Lesson number seven, feeding behavior. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain that feeding behaviors are different depending on the type of food consumed. Recall that herbivores have to eat more food in order to get the nutrients, particularly proteins, they require, so that more time is spent eating. And explain that vertebrate herbivores who feed in large groups usually need to be continually on the move to find new feeding areas. And recall that some animals have developed the use of tools in their search for food. Hunger is the stimulus which drives the animals in the photograph to find food and eat it. Feeding behavior is what animals eat, how they find and eat their food, and when they eat it. For example, the antelope's feeding behavior is to travel in a large group, eating plant materials throughout most of the day. The group is called a herd. Animals learn where and when they are most likely to find food. For example, hyenas quickly sense where lions have brought down an antelope. When the lions have taken their fill of the food, the hyenas move in and scavenge the remains. The hyenas' feeding behavior means they obtain food without the effort of hunting and killing it. Feeding behavior varies. For many animals, it is a routine. They feed at certain times of the day. For example, female mosquitoes mostly feed at dawn and in the evening. Other animals make the decision to feed depending on their circumstances. For example, rabbits will not feed if they think a fox is nearby. Cows and sheep are herbivores. They eat plants. Herbivores seem to feed all the time. The concentration of nutrients, particularly protein, in the grass is low, so they have to eat more food to get enough of all the nutrients they need. Carbohydrates and oils for energy, proteins for growth and repair, and minerals and vitamins. The wildebeest in this photograph are searching for food. They are following the rains. Where it is raining, grass grows and wildebeest eat. When the rain stops, the wildebeest move on to the next area where it is raining and the grass is growing green and tall. Following the rains to find food is an example of seasonal migration. Moving to new feeding areas means that large groups of herbivores find enough to eat. The chimpanzee is using a stick to dig out insects from holes in the log of wood. Is the chimpanzee using the stick as a tool to find food? Chimpanzees alter the length and shape of sticks, making them better for reaching and probing. Altering the length and shape of its food stick suggests that the chimpanzee is using intelligence and is using the stick as a tool. Yeah.